morning, Mumsy. Well, good morning, Nanny. Six o'clock already. What a lovely morning it is. Oh, why haven't you brought the dear children to give me my good morning kiss? Master Sonny and Miss Gurley were up very early, Mumsy. They're off playing. They do love their game so. Found some new friends, most likely. <laughs> Them. Did Miss Gurley brush her hair this morning? Of course, Mumsy. A hundred strokes for Nanny. She does have beautiful hair. Of course, Mumsy. Nanny sees to that. You're really too good to them, Nanny. Master Sonny's toenails. Did you cut them? Of course, Mumsy. Oh, but he did struggle. <laughs> That's because the little chap's growing up. Mind you, Mumsy, for such a little chap, he does get on his high horse sometimes. Ah, like his sister. The little loves. The dear little loves. Did you give them a nice breakfast, Nanny? Circus. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> Have a sweetie. Thank you, mister. Here. Mm. Mm. Do spoil me, mister. Brothers should spoil their sisters. Those little rascals hardly touched their brekkie this morning. The dear little rascals. That's not at all like them. Oh, well, come along, Nanny. Let's get room number two all shipshape. I was on my knees half the night, scrubbing them all spick and span. Lovely. Sheets. I thought linen. Oh, no. No flannelettes. Flannelettes, itchy. But very cosy. No, definitely the flannelette, Nanny. Come on, help me turn the mattress. Tell you what, Mumsy. What, Nanny? The little loves must be starving. You carry on here in two, and I'll make them a glass of hot milk and a nice bicky. A chocky bicky. Guess what? What? Nothing. What? Mind your own business. Fry your own fish. Don't poke your nose in my clean dish. Are you going to tell? Ask me no questions. You get no lies. Shut your gob and you'll catch no flies. Are you going to tell? It's a secret. Come on, tell. You're hurting me. Give in, then. Promise not to let on. Cross my heart. Cut your throat. Cut my throat. Children! Children! Don't hide from Nanny. Nanny's got nice milkies and bickies. 
talkie pickies. Nanny. It's all right, Nanny. Come inside and give Mumsy a hand. I heard Mumsy and Nanny discussing a certain person. And this certain person. Do I know this certain person? This certain person. What about him? He's been getting a little bit uppity with Mumsy and Nanny. Mm. We'll have to find someone else then. <laughs> that was the idea. Do you suppose his room's ready yet? It looks ever so much nicer here than it did in number five, Mumsy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! <laughs> Hello. Come on, you come friend on. me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, come that on. won't hurt you. There we are, Mumsy. All done. Elevens. There's our pretty pattern where we can both see it. Not tens. Elevens. Tens are for booties. Better hurry up or I'll be finished before you. You're not allowed to finish before me. That's right, I'm not. Just remember, you're only the nanny. I'm the mumsy. Come on. He's usually friendly, you know. Come on. Come on. Here, boy, how many to dinner? Come on, quick, you. Quick, come on. Come on. Ah, uh, isn't he sweet? Oh, isn't he Hey! Look at that. What? Look at those teeth. Hey! What are you two doing here this hour in the morning, eh? Me? Me? Well, I'm not talking to myself, am I? Of course not. That would be silly. Now, don't try to be funny. You heard the gentleman. And that goes for you, too. Now, hop it. I might have to get a policeman. Don't do that, mister. Don't call a policeman, mister. We weren't doing anything. How did you get in here? Easy. Easy. Go on. Go on, would you? Come on. Hey! Come back here. Come on. Come on. What have you been up to, eh? Sneaking in here before the place is open? What have you got in that box? Come on. Let's have a look at it. Come on. Bring it here. I can see you've got something in the way there. Open it up. <laughs> Bless their little hearts. Their darling little hearts. Mums is so proud of her dearest things. Of course she is. Mumsy. Mm. Do you think they'll bring anybody home? Not anybody. My sister. Her name's Gurley. You can call her Gurley. My name's Sonny. I'm her brother. Drink up. Plenty more where that comes from. If you come with us. The little angel should be home soon. It seems ages since they went to the playground. They shouldn't make friends so easily. But it does them good to get out and about. Meet lovely new friends. 
Hey, what's your name? Curly. Curly what? My name is Addy Addy Shikari Shikari Goody Pooney I'm Pomolari Alla Valla Whiskey Chinese Soap. <laughs> just call me Curly. Oh, just call me. You're our new friend. You never run out of film, do you? Who are you? They call me Sunny. Who's they? All, All the new friends. friends. My name is... What's your name? Mary Day. Where do you live? Down the lane. What do you keep? A little shop. What do you sell? <laughs> 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 Lucky new friend. Not everybody is allowed a free film show. Nursery tea, cakes, lemonade, crackers. Do you think they found anybody yet? Mumsy sounds rather nice. He is. Yes. Well, I meet her. If you're lucky. Well, I meet you in Nanny too. If you're a good boy, you might. What have I got to do to be good? Stop asking questions. That's it. Is that where you live? Where? That bench. Over there on that bench. No. Where do you live? Come on, where? You can't meet Mum's in Nanny unless you tell her. After all, we can't just make friends with anybody. Can we? Oh, we've got to know things. You could be anybody. Couldn't you? Oh, nobody. You must be somebody. I'm nobody. Don't keep saying that. I'm nobody. I keep telling you. I've got nowhere. Nowhere, do you? Nowhere. I bet you're lonely. Got nobody in the whole wide world. Are you what Mumsy would call Any it? Any better at Footley? You what? Nobody can miss you. Nobody. Oh, come on, get me out of here. Come on, you get me in the way. Get me out of here. Soldier. That's a nice name. Eat up your jelly like a good boy, and then you can have some tea cake. Tea cake? Toasted tea cake. <laughs> <laughs> With currants in and sultana. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing at your new friend? You're not to laugh at soldier. Sorry, Mumsy. I'm sorry, soldier. <laughs> now, children, get on with it. And afterwards, we can all play games. <laughs> games? And then we can pull crackers. What do I want to pull crackers for? Hats. Paper hats. Tin whistles, plastic whistles. They simply mean, dear, that no party is complete without crackers. What about these tea cakes? The alarm is set for five o'clock. Tea cake time. It's one of the rules. Rules? In a happy family, you must always have rules. Bye-bye. Sure, See? Mumsy says. What? If you don't have rules, where are you? I'm standing here with me bleeding guts hanging out. That's well. Sod the rules. What about my tea cake? Possess it if you can. There we are. Here's a lovely paper hat for soldier. Now it's medicine time. Medicine? All of us get medicine in this house. Me and girly. And you. Oh, I can't stand this stuff. Then you'll have to go without. Mmm. Mm. Mind you, not all medicine. I mean, uh, mm. some medicine's not so bad as others. It's quite life, in fact. Come on, where's my medicine? Where's my breeding medicine? Don't worry, dear. You'll get your medicine. Bring the ring the roses, the pocket full of posies. Hush, 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 we all fall down. <laughs> <laughs>
didn't fall down. You should have fallen down. Stupid, isn't it? But you've got to play games. We did tell you about the rules. Not one more game, just one more game before bye-bye. Go off this, mugging about like kids. We're not kids. That's not nice. And now you won't play anymore. You would like a nice little drinky before bye-byes, wouldn't you? Nanny, tuck you up. Hold the rubber, tuck me up. Well, Mumsy? All right, then. One more game, but only one. What shall it be, Mumsy? What shall we play? Let's play... Oranges and Lemons. Come along, Nanny. Oranges and lemons, said the bells of St. Clem. I owe you five farthings, said the bells of St. Martin's. When will you pay me, said the bells of Old Bailey. When I grow rich, said the bells of Shoreditch. When will that be, said the bells of Sydney. I'm sure I don't know, said the old bell at Bow. Here comes a candle to light you to bed. Here comes a chopper to chop off your head. Chop, 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 chop. Scrub my fingers to the bone trying to get these stains out. Girlies should take greater care. Do hope they won't show when they're dry. She really is very naughty, smashing her dolls like this. They do. I'll have to try bleaching them. Do you think you could glue his head on again, Nanny? They'll shrink a bit. I might have to order them for the next new friend. I tell you, we're wasting our time. The Mumsy doesn't want new friends from the park anymore. I still think we're wasting our time here. Who says so? Why do we have to leave now? Because you're drunk and I am bored, that's why. I know I'm not everybody's favourite layer bar, but I thought I was yours. I was just beginning to enjoy myself. You and that red-headed trollop. She can't afford you anyway, lover boy. And you can? I can. And I do. You bitch. You bastard. <laughs> That's better. That was a lousy party. Come on. Let's go where it's all happening. Come with us and something's bound to happen. This uh, your car? Where the hell did you come from? Get out of here before... Okay, let's go. Go where? Anywhere. You know what he says, let's go. Come on, let's go. Did the dear sweet love say where they were going? This time? Yes. No. Ooh.
<laughs> I want to go home. Oh, why are you always spoiling I'm everything? Not spoiling it. Having a good time. Why don't you join in the same as everybody else? Now come on, ladies first. Oh. Come on. Truth, dare, crime, or promise. Stop upstairs. being so childish. I'll go now, see everything up. These two are a couple of rainbows. Get up the top. On the top, Come on. Let me out of Come on, behind me. No, let me go. You said I don't want to go. Go down the slide up. It doesn't hurt. It's all right. Go on. Hurry up. Give me a No. Do you know what the nice Mr. Dickens says about children? I love these little people. And it is not a slight thing when they who are so fresh from God love us. Spoil sport. Come on! It's your turn! Come on! You're not that drunk! <laughs> Go on. It's your turn. Nanny. Nanny, wake up. What's about with the dishes? Shush me. Wake up. Drunk. And somebody join the angels. Don't worry. You'll be safe with us. The mumsy will love you. Nanny, don't fuss. We'll have none of your naughtiness. What you say to dear Nanny? Come along. Sorry, Nanny. I should think so. Mumsy, 
dear. Can I take new friend his breakfast? May I? Friend in five has been a naughty boy. Friend in five has been forbidden breakfast. No, not him. The new one. Is he awake yet? We've put him in room two. I've taken his clothes up. Those clothes weren't dry. You'll catch he's dead. What's this? That for you. Oh, I can't wear these. It's kids' gear. Why are you going somewhere? I can wear my clothes. You have to burn them. You're lying. Gave you a bath last night huh? and tucked you up. And Sunny put your clothes in the incinerator. But you gave me a bath? You looked ever so cosy. You're not embarrassed. You had blood everywhere. All down your chest. All right, all right. And all inside your thighs. Shut up. Sorry you don't like being reminded. It was an accident, see? We were struggling and she fell. Liar. You pushed her. I saw you with my own two eyes. Sunny saw you too. Anyway, truth, dare, crime or promise, we said. And she... Nobody said, else saw anything, did they? Might have. Anyway, no one will find you. And they won't find her, not in a month of Sundays. What the hell do I do now? You're safe with us. We're a happy family. Come on. Eat up. The mumsy likes having people in. Don't you like being looked after? That's naughty, mister. You're going to need to learn the rules. Rather spirited. As long as he doesn't get too high spirited. Give me that thing. <laughs> Mine, that one. No, that's mine. Mine. Mum's he bought it for me. Nanny. No, Nanny. no, it's Nanny. not Nanny. yours. No, it's not. There, I'll just give you a lot. I'm gonna tell Mum's he. Come on, hurry up with that water. When do we get something to eat? We'll have to wait. Not dinner time yet. You have a lot of rules in this house? Of course. They're for our own good. And yours. Who says? Mumsy and Nanny, that's who. <sighs> what do you think we'll get for our dinner? Fishes, iron glue, filleted worms, yum yum, pig's bum. Scabamatter custard, green snot pie, dead dodge diblets, dead cat's eyes, and, and a, a cup of sick to wash it down. You'll like it here when you've learnt the rules. Yeah. Well, I'll try. <laughs> he might as well, huh? Come on. <laughs> These rules. Tell me some of them. You'll find out, won't you? He'll find out. Um. These games, for example. 
Games are what you might call your rent money. Your due. You have to play games because you're our new playmate. It's like being back at school. Suppose I get fed up with these games. Where do you think you're going? The lavatory. You know, shed a tear for Nelson. For your girlfriend, more likely. He wants to go to the lab. <laughs> In this house, you have to ask to go to the lab. You don't just go to the lab without asking. You've got to say... But please, may I be excused? Please, may I be excused? Of course. Do you know where it is? Yes. Go on, then. He needs watching, that one. Itching powder in his bed. Getting fed up with the itching powder bit. I've got it! Didn't he say it nicely? What? Say what nicely? Please, may I be excused? He said it ever so nicely. The mumsy likes well-spoken people. him long. <laughs> Our new friend got locked in the lavatory. He'll be there. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> 
Is something the matter, dear? Now then, have we all washed our hands? If there's one thing I do like to see, it's nice, clean hands at the lunch table. Remember, children? Cleanliness, cleanliness is next, next to godliness. What is cleanliness? Cleanliness is next to godliness. <laughs> Now then, whose turn is it to say grace today? Me, me. Is it Master Sonny's turn, Nanny? Yes. Through the lips, round the gums. Watch out, stomach, here it comes. What do good boys say? Please, may I have some bread? Please, may I have some bread? Please, may I have some bread, Mumsy? Hmm. Shall the new friend have some bread, children? Nanny, shall the new friend have some bread? Only if he sings us a song. What a good idea. What song shall the new friend sing, children? Mumsy? Well, what you like? Roll out the barrel? Oh. Any old iron? Onward, Christian soldiers. You like that? We'll have no blasphemy at the meal table. Thank you very much. I only thought... The Siamese National Anthem. I don't know that one. Oh, what a na Siam. Oh, yeah, Siam, and S. What tune? Tune, do you think? Oh. Try the national anthem. Go on if you're going. Come on. <clears throat> oh, what a na I am. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 First of all, she tried Father Bear's bed, but that was too hard. Next, she tried Mother Bear's bed, but that was too soft. Last of all, she tried Baby Bear's bed. You have been a great disappointment to all of us, certainly to me. However, bearing in mind the fact that new friends often feel a little strange at first, that is to say, alarmed, and invariably try to run away, we usually give them a second chance. 
In fact, it might almost be said that giving them a second chance is part of the rules. Mark you. Not all new friends get a second chance. I remember only last year there was Get a on with it, Mumsy. I'm tired. Don't interrupt. You know Mumsy doesn't like naughty boys who interrupt. He needs his sleep. He's grown. Mumsy doesn't like Nanny to interrupt either. We have decided to sentence you to do the shopping. Shopping is a lenient sentence when there are certain mitigating circumstances. What Mumsy means is that... New friend's not stupid. New friend knows what Mumsy means. Just remember, in future, stick to the rules. And don't do anything silly. Now, I think it's time we adjourned again to bed. Come along, Master Sunny, back to Benny Barnes. Great disappointment to me. It's very silly to panic. Only little boys do silly things like that. And you're not a little boy anymore, are you? Show Mumsy. You're not a little boy anymore. Off to. I'm hungry. But you're never hungry. I'm now. I'm a growing girl, aren't I? Mumsy says so. Sometimes a growing girl gets an appetite. And, um, a loaf of bread, please, miss. Yes, sir. Good day, sir. Good day. Thank you, miss.
Hello. <laughs> yes, sir. What would you like? Uh, Mumsy and Nanny sent me. They gave me a list. <gasps> How is the Mumsy? And the Nanny? Oh, they're very well, thank you. Ah! <laughs> uh, anyway, um... Yes? I'd like a pint of strap oil, two left-handed screwdrivers, a pound of elbow grease, and a pint of cooking glue. You've come to the wrong shop. You should have gone to hardware down the road. Oh. Well, then, um... You wouldn't have any striped paint, would you? Mum's your nanny wants some striped paint. For the last post. Like I said, hardware. But let's see what we've got. That's no good. Why? The stripes are too wide. Then you'd better try hardware. Sorry I couldn't help you. <laughs> Mumsy and Nanny will be cross. You can't go yet! <laughs> the shops are always so crowded these days, you get quite worn out. So why not take the weight off your feet, I say, and have a nice cup of tea? Do I have to? It's part of the game. Oh. Are you going to have one? It's only for customers. Oh. Well, if it's part of the game. And I take mine with lemonade. Castor <laughs> oil? I, thought, I really thought... Castor oil. <laughs> Miss Gurley says the new friend's a good boy. Friend in two? Well, I wouldn't mean the naughty boy in five, would I? Five is in disgrace. Miss Gurley says our friend in two did the shopping like a good boy. Miss Gurley said he'd prefer his castor oil and ginger beer, though. <laughs> I don't imagine he'll give us any more trouble. And he hopes not. <sighs> He's so very different. Mumsy, you're not fancying him, are you? Fancying new friends is against the rules. You can have them, but you mustn't fancy them. Fancying them only complicates matters. Rules are for the children, Nanny dear. And rules are for us, too. Now, don't upset yourself. Just remember. Must I remind you, Nanny dear, that you are only... Yes, I know. I'm only the Nanny. You're the Mumsy. I think he likes it here. Friend in two. Well, you don't get cakeys in prison. Prison? Our friend in two is a murderer. A murderer? In our house? No! No!
dear thing. The dear sweet thing. Mumsy. Him in five's been very restless lately, very restless. Is that who they're playing with, friend in five? I didn't see the rota this morning. No, friend in five is not allowed to play anymore. They're playing with new friend in two. Ah, a nice new friend. He seems to have lots of energy. Just like the dear children. I do like to see all the dear hearts happy, even if they do have too much energy. You were trying to escape. No, you thought wrong. Let go of my hand. I said, let go of my hand. You've not been learning the rules. Rules can be broken. I thought you were trying to run for it. No. You must never try to run for it. Not a second time. Because if you try to run for it, we catch you. I'm not joking. We put you on trial. Properly this time. Then what? If we found you guilty of trying to run for it, trying a second time. If we caught you breaking one of the rules, We'd send you to the angels. You wouldn't like that. Would you?
Do you think he's settled in? Do you? What's that, Nanny dear? Friend in two, do you think he's settled in? Oh, I think he's settled in extremely well. Indeed, he's the one with too much energy. That's why I put bromide in his cocoa, Mumsy. You know what's good for you. You won't, though. What's that supposed to mean? They say you never do. Not the first time. Look, just forget it. Suppose I don't want to. This is bloody naive. Like you say, dear. His five's the worry. He's had his opportunity. Now that two's all cosy, where's the point in five? Why do we bother with five anymore? More than once. He never listens. He plays us all up. Not like two. Two's a good boy. I think it's time friend in five was made to play the game. The Humpty Dumpty game. he's to be put on trial. Why? You know why. Because he tried to run away. A second time. Oh. When? The other day. No, I mean when? Oh, soon. <sighs> Here, make yourself useful. You seem sure he's guilty. And you're getting soft. Mind yourself. Oh. No, I'm not. And getting soft's against I the rules. I know. Getting soft's against the rules. Just remember. What? Rules are applied rigidly. You needn't think otherwise. Why should I? Just don't start getting soft, that's all. <laughs> Come on, then. Have you, Bicky? Come on, then. There's a good boy. Come on, then. New friend like a nice Bicky. Thank you, Nanny. Come on, then. Come Why doesn't Nanny like the new friend anymore? Why would new friend think that? Well, Nanny didn't help the mumsy give new friend his bath last night. Last night? Mumsy said the new friend had the sniffles and wasn't to have a bath last night. I wonder why Mumsy would say a thing like that. Yes, I wonder. Spoil, spoil. 
You're not allowed. That's a grown-up game. I thought you liked grown-up games. I suppose you'd call him mothers and fathers. You showed me a game. Now I'm going to show you one. Oh, yeah? What do you call your game? This game's got no name. But if you tell tales about you and me, you'll finish up in the sand pit. Up to your neck in it. And when you're struggling, Buried in it. And when you're struggling, when you're struggling to get out but can't, we'll all be taking pot shots. <coughs> At you. Only we won't be using cues. You do understand. Kitty billiards, huh? So don't do anything silly like friend in five did. So there is another one in five, then. Plenty of dollies in the toy cupboard. Yeah, but this one in five. He's being sent to the angels. He's what? We're putting him on trial. Hey. I don't want to see you get hurt. Just remember, Mumsy, Nanny, Sonny and me, we're a happy family. Humpty Dumpty's out on the wall. Humpty Dumpty has why do you suppose Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall, Nanny? Well, if the mumsy doesn't know why, the Nanny isn't allowed to know why, is she? Look out. Here comes a certain person. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a big ball. All the king's horses and all the king's men. Gurley says. Gurley has far too much to say for herself sometimes. Says Miss Gurley. Gurley says you're sending number five to the angels. She said you put him on trial and found him guilty of not sticking to the rules. And he's to be sent to the angels. Now, if you're being curious, and curiosity killed the cat. I just wondered, that's all. Little boys should be seen and not heard. Otherwise, little boys get sent to bed. Who win? Come on, who win? That's not very nice. Not nice? What do you mean, not nice? You, uh, you don't mean to say you never... Nanny had... means you're speaking out of turn. <laughs> I know what Nanny means. Does she put all the new friends to bed? Mumsy thinks you'd best go to your room. All right, Mumsy. Nanny. Join me later. I don't like his tone. No. I'm sure you don't. Are you trying to tell me something, Nanny dear?
have deliberated. And we have decided that you shall play the Humpty Dumpty game. But we will give you a little start. Fair's fair. So I shall count to ten, and then Sonny will try to catch you. Off you go, then. One, two, three, four, Seven. Ten. Girlie gets naughtier every day, spoiling all her lovely toys. That's right, Sunny dear. Let's all see the lovely film again. And this time, Girlie, you're to stop fidgeting and watch properly. I don't have to remind you that in a happy family, fidgeting is not permitted. New friend is not to fidget either. Switch the lights off, Nanny. You're not to talk to me. Listen. You're just sticking your neck out, and for what? Because something's got to be done. What can you do? Have you forgotten that girlfriend of yours? 
All right. All right, I'm across a barrel, I know. But then so are you. Just shut up, listen. You and me, we've got to get out of this madhouse. Not mad. We're happy. We're a happy family. For how long? Go on, how long are you going to be happy carrying on like this? I tell you, we've got to clear off and leave them to it. We? What happened between us was just part of the game. Don't stick your neck out. What am I supposed to do then? Don't ask questions. Don't you understand? You just play the game and, and stick to the rules. The rules? We are. We are. We're, we're a happy family. You know, I've warned you. You can have them, but you mustn't fancy them. Anyway, we've always bathed new friends together before. That's the rules. There's no need to upset yourself, Melody. I assure you that on this occasion... You went in when friend two was in the bath. He left the door open. I bet you didn't even knock. I had to take him in his baby powder. Then what? <laughs> he looked so sweet. Then what? Just like one of nice Mr. Kingsley's water babies. Are you listening to me? Splashing about with that plastic boat we gave him. You gave him. Don't you remember, Nanny, dear? We took it away from number six. I still think you should have knocked before you went in, Mumsy. Wake up! Wake up! Come on, please. Um, wake up. Why do you wake me up? Hansel and Gretel were just going to invite me to tea. Mumsy and Nanny have had a row. What about? Friend in two. He's been playing them off against each other. Why would he want to do that? Don't you see? No, I don't see. What's there to see? He's trying to rule the roost. He thinks if he can get Mumsy and Nanny to each other's throats... Well? He thinks something might happen. Such as? Oh. Do I have to explain everything? Since you asked, yes. You're really thick, you are. You're thicker than two short planks. Brothers shouldn't talk to their sisters like that. Talk to you how I like. In fact, you're thicker than two short planks. You're thicker than... I know, thicker than mule turd. I'll tell Mumsy and she'll wash your mouth out. Anyway, get on with it. I want to go back to tea with Hansel and Gretel. I wouldn't be surprised if friend in two tried to stir things up so much, either Mumsy or Nanny does something terrible. To each other, you mean? What are we going to do, then? Oh, I don't know. I don't want to go bothering with a trial, though. Trials are a bore. What started it all? Thought you wanted to go back to sleep. Oh, get on with it, will you? Well, he let on to Nanny that he and Mumsy did something together. And that upset Nanny, of course, because he's never done that with her. Does Nanny want him to, then? <laughs> Of course she does. Clear as the nose on her face. Her age? <laughs> uh, her age. Yes, we'll have to send him to the angels. Dearly. But, Nanny... Can't you see how busy I am? I go along and play. Friend in five in there? That's right. On his way to the angels? Well, I expect he's there by now, sweetest love. <coughs> Nanny, I've got to talk to you. It's important. All right, then. Now, what's all this that it's so important that you can't wait? Sonny doesn't like you, friend. Sonny broke a rule. Are you telling tales out of school? Sonny did. What did he say? I won't tell you what he said, but because he said it, I know he doesn't like the new friend. You like him, though, don't you? Say what you mean, dear.
going to get you so there. How many rows have you done, Nanny? Fifteen. You? Twelve. Hmm. It's because I knit faster than you. I can't help that. I think it's time to call it a day. Yes, Mumsy. It's time we called it a day. Ah, oh, the dear things. All tucked in. Are they nicely cosy? Very. Very cosy. That's good. Good night then, Nanny. Oh, I'm so tired. I could sleep for a hundred years. You do that then, Mumsy. My night light's gone out. You mustn't be afraid of the dark. But I am. I've been crying. Feel?
Do you brush your teeth? After every meal. Why? You know why? Mumsy and Nanny say if I brush my teeth after every meal, I'll grow up to be a big boy. That's why. Big and fit and strong. Do you always brush your teeth? Of course. With a brush? Do you clean your top teeth with a brush? Of course. What do you clean your bottom with? A brush. Oh, uh, I bet that hurts. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to go out tonight, find ourselves a new friend. What for? We want someone to play with. Now that five's gone. We've still got friend in two. Oh, not for much longer. He's being sent to the angels. Who says so? He hasn't had a trial. He won't need one. Not when I tell Mumsy and Nanny certain things I know. What sort of thing? Mind your own business, fry your own fish. Don't poke your nose in my clean dish. <laughs> Come on, out the way. <laughs> Listen. What? You know that boy? What boy is that? You know that boy. What boy? That boy, Tony Chestnut. Tony Chestnut? Who's Tony? Tony! Oh! Ah! Me! Ah! Chest! Ah! <laughs> told you a hundred times, you must learn to take more care of your toys. Now you've gone and smashed that lovely little china drummer boy. Honestly, girly dear, if you go on like this, you won't have any toys left. Here's your lovely nanny doll. There. Are you quite comfy? Where's new friend? Just putting Sonny on the train for heaven. He won't get on it himself, will he, Mumsy? Oh, now, what on earth makes you think that? Sonny wants to send him to the angel. Well, Sonny's gone instead, hasn't he? I'm all asleep, Mumsy. That's right, dearest cherub. You go to bye-byes, and the Sandman will come and put the lovely sleepy dust in your eyes. Hansel and Gretel invite me to tea. If you're a good girl, and take the thumb out of your mouth. That's right, dearest. Just go to bye-bye. On the wall, Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men. Couldn't put Humpty together again. Eleven, dear.
couldn't touch a thing. What not nice puppy toast. You're not ailing. How is she? Girly. After all. After all what? What's after all? Oh. Girly. Ah, oh, poor Girly. It was quite a shock. She was always so fond of that little drummer boy. Do you think she'll be all right? Why? He was a brother. Mark you, he wasn't at all nice. The nanny spoiled him so, it coarsened him. Why, you only had to hear him speak. He was vulgar and extremely devious. Devious? He was jealous of you. Of me? <laughs> Silly Sonny. I do believe he thought you were fraternizing with my little girly. <laughs> Do you know, he always was a silly Billy. You and Curly, indeed. <laughs> no, can't imagine what gave him that idea. You see, dear, he was plotting against you. He had a word in Gurley's ear, and she told me that he suggested it was time all of us conspired against you. Oh, you, you wouldn't do that, would you? <laughs> Why on earth would I want to do a thing like that? Well, if Sonny was jealous of me, he might have invented stories. What stories could he have invented about you? You wouldn't have believed them, though, would you? And, and you, you wouldn't believe Nanny if she told you stories. The Nanny? Yeah, well, if, if Nanny said things to you and you believed them, what would there be to stop you getting jealous? Now, now, I do believe you're allowing yourself to become upset. <laughs> you mustn't let the Nanny distress you. Oh, I don't. She's harmless enough. not very nice. Snatching isn't very nice, Miss Gurley. What do you say? Sorry. That's better. No, I'm not. What? I'm not sorry, so there. Not nice at all. Gurley's not been at all nice lately. Why does Gurley suppose she's not been very nice? You've not been very nice lately either. And what does Gurley suppose she means by that? Taking my pillow cup. My foot! You trying to say something, because if you're trying to say something, you ought to just say it instead of sitting there all sulky like some toffee-nosed young madam. Nasty nanny is no good. Chop her up for firewood. When she's dead, boil her head, make it into gingerbread! What are you doing here? It's far too soon to be up and about. You should be in bed. Come along inside like a good little girl. Don't want to go to bed. Yes, you do. And Mumsy will read you a nice story before she tucks you in. No, don't want a story. Perhaps Girlie would like Nanny to read her a story. No, don't want Nanny. Nanny's not. Come Please, along, I want to stay out here. My word. Gurley doesn't want a story, and she doesn't want to go to bed. But Gurley must want something. Gurley always wants something when she's in a tantrum. Not in a tantrum. Mumsy will get you a nice story to cuddle up with. Oh, where's your lovely nanny doll? Don't want nanny doll. Nanny's nasty. You're not frightened of nanny, are you? She hasn't been telling you about the bogeyman. 
Not frightened. That's right. You just cuddle up nice and warm, and I'll go and see if Nanny has the lunch ready yet. What could you expect? Well, go on, what could you expect? I really don't know. You must have. What do you mean, I must have? That something would have happened sooner or later with me and one of these new friends. So much for all the rules. What good did rules ever do? But you must have rules. A happy family needs rules. Now that the rules count for so little, I really don't know what's going to happen to any of us. To you, to me, or to Nanny. Where is Nanny, anyway? If I don't find her soon, this meal will be ru- Girl, When she's dead, boil her head, make it into gingerbread. <laughs> <laughs> doing? Putting Nanny on the train to the Angels. Why in your room? Mumsy says I won't be needing it anymore. Mumsy says she's going to be lonely without Nanny. Girl is in the wrong chair. Nicer. Just this once, then. There we are. Elevens. Tens are for booties. What have you done with friend in two? Put a nanny on the train to heaven. I do hope he gave her a blanket. She does feel the cold, so. And here's our pretty pattern, where we can both see it. Can't I have one of my own? In happy families, it's nicer to... To share and share alike. That's right, dearest. Dearest. You're knitting faster than me, and it's not allowed. Can't help it if I'm better. Mumsy, if we share everything. Mumsy, understand, Sugar Plum. 
friend in two shall be your playmate on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. He'll be mine on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. What about Sundays? Miss Gurley. Sorry, Mumsy. What day is it today, Mumsy? Why, dearest, it's Saturday. My day. find you a new friend. You'd like that, wouldn't you, Mumsy? Hmm. Somebody younger this time. You might tire a friend in two, and so might I. After all, suppose we both... There's no suppose about that. All right, dearest, you can go to the playground. But do be careful, my cherub. You'll be alone this time. Can your friend come? Must I remind you, girlie? <gasps> yes, I know. It's Saturday. Off you go, then. <laughs> Watch your step, dearest. Mm -hmm. And you watch yours. <laughs> <laughs> all the king's horses and all the king's men. Couldn't put Humpty together again. <laughs> 